Bethesda Studio presents Fallout 4. It's kind of like Fallout B Part 2 <laughs> or Part 2.5. Um, so uh, I'm probably talking over some very deep, thoughtful military talk about war and everything. This looks like they actually filmed um, an actual human being and didn't render a CGI character. That looks like an actual photo. So it looks like they use actual actors within the game as opposed to making everything CGI, which is... I feel that makes it look good. That is a superb CGI plane. That is horrible. This is horrible. That... No. The world awaited um, I don't know what's happening here, Instead, but it's basically spelling out how it's all horrible. Um, we began to use a and oh, you can increase. This is like present day uh, increasing, but it's also like like a Bioshock world, like an alternate universe, because this is still the 1950s style, but they have science fiction it's like a 1930s science fiction piece and I don't know why they do that so they're running as fast as they can away from the nuclear blast um, war everywhere the paratroopers I don't know where they're landing Oh, I haven't seen... Okay, so this guy's it got, like, a metal machine over him. We stand on the brink and the those must be nuclear bombs or and some big bomb of some kind. For myself. For my wife. A picture of his wife for when I she's back home. Because if my time in the army taught me one and, thing... Uh, yeah, and he's just walking into the distance it's the what a glorious life now I mean they sh so show it's not glorious changes. but they say it's kind of glorious anyways so I guess that white screen is the nuclear fallout and it is transitioning into the shower or, or bath steam the in the bathroom and you can choose to be Absolutely. either the and man or his wife or the wife's right. husband. I don't think you can choose to be the baby. The spo spoiler, the, they have a baby. I didn't really understand the controls here and how to shape the face. I could change the haircut and I tried to change different parts of so yeah, here's me changing the haircut, and it's like, okay, what does this look like? What does this look like? And I, I was, I had the intention to make him look like me, but I didn't really, I'm, I don't care about appearance <laughs> too much. That just like, he's got a big nose. I have a big nose, but I don't know. It looks more or less like me. What was that? Was a soldier just walking by in the w nice window haircut. behind him? Um, okay, so now I tried to change the forehead. And yeah. I'm like, okay, I don't know how, how I'm changing it. I'm pressing I'm buttons and nothing's changing. So let's try something different. Let's try something obvious like... Okay doing the forehead again I guess it is the forehead is changing but it's it's gradual and not obvious it's, it's difficult for me to tell so the nose like you got to be able to change the nose easily a nose that big you have to be able to make it smaller what is a robot just walking by it over and over again in the background so um, he's got this nose and I'm trying to change it and <laughs> I don't know how to change it I don't know if I am changing it 
uh, it looks like a little bit different from when we first started. So maybe if we try the lips. L lips are obvious changes. Um, so here we are trying to change the lips. I'm just making them smaller. I want them that large but tight like Clint Eastwood. Good. But I couldn't get that. So I was like, you know what, just, um, I'll just go with this. Um, so where's the exit menu? There we go. And oh my god, I have a ponytail. What did I do? Uh, okay, so, um, he's walking around. I want to pick up all these objects and add them to my inventory for later in the day, get later in the game. Like that Abraxo cleaner, that's Abraxo. worth like two caps or something. I'd be, I should be able to pick up that Abraxo cleaner. Um, so I walk around, um, look around. I I really don't have much vested interest in this home that I know is going to blow up. Um, in a way, I don't really care about the family either, but the obviously the family is going to come into it later on. Um, so here's my bedroom. Hey, an American flag. I didn't notice that. And here's the baby's room. And I, okay, you gotta at least play with the baby. So pick it. That's good. And, um, to go here, just looking around, trying to find things. Laundry room, living room. Ah, the robot butler that I've heard so much about. Uh, what can you get me? He's getting me some coffee. Oh, that's just fantastic. Uh, I don't really care to stick around long enough to drink the coffee. I can't leave my house. It's not letting me leave my house. Um, there's the TV and it's got its dire warnings. Like, ob obviously this is the beginning of, of the game. The, this is not post-nuclear apocalypse. We know there's going to be a post-nuclear apocalypse. Fat Man was the name of one of the atom bombs. Um, horrible thing that happened. Um, so, she's just reading the paper. What's he going to do? I think that this is just a kind of like a timeout situation where if you just you can do whatever you want and then time will pass and something will happen to further the plot. So you can just explore your controls, get used to it. Hey, is there's some liquor there behind her that I didn't even take. I could have Oh man. Okay, so it's a nice house too. I wouldn't mind living in this house. It's probably that salesman. Instead of living in this house, I can live in a virtual reality of this house. Woohoo! Okay, so he's got something interesting to say. Uh, and I can choose my reactions, and I assume that will change my personality later on in the game. So. If you will. What do I have to say to that, Mr. CGI character? You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. Okay, so Tark, just I, w I want to just sign up and get on with the game, even though I ended up um, not actually playing the game very much. So you are. So here we are. Don't get me wrong, sir. I'm a legitimate businessman. You can do whatever I say, and it'll be right by me. You can be a good man, you can be a healthy man, a good man, a cute, uh, everything you want, all you want. Just boom, all you want. So, yeah, do you, you want to go down into a vault? 
Of well, you see, it's a very good vault. It's a, it's a great vault that has many unique features, and it's a great place to live. And I would live there myself if I if I could. Death of a salesman, which I haven't read. <laughs> uh, I disgrace myself. Okay. Tell me more about this. Tell me more. So he's like, okay, well, we're doing this thing where, like, you do things, and it's because your dad fought in World War II, you were signing you up. Is that good? You like that? Uh, sure. Oh, good, great. Now we can just get down to business. And we adjust our stats. And I didn't see the part that said name at the top. I didn't know you can name yourself at this point. So I chose my stats. And um, I chose my strengths and weaknesses. But I didn't know how to name it. So here's me putting value into certain things. And of course these stats I'll probably be able to go up when I go up in a level. And so I have one, and now it's like, hey, why can't I progress? And it's telling me you have to name yourself. So the only button I see is retry. I don't see the name button. Um, because I'm stupid. So I retry. And it's says name yourself name yourself and start over he says or the computer says I don't know he says she says so I'll name myself uh, that's my name and then now that I've named myself I decide to basically be equal in every stat because I'm really tired from all the Final Fantasy X walkthroughs that I did. Wonderful. So here we are! Yeah, there we go, thank you. And so since I chose a common name, I'm hoping that the game will actually say uh, my name later on in, in the game. Uh, these are amazing games, the Bethesda Studio <laughs> games. Good answer. I have my moments. So, what do you say? Wow, look at you. Oh, it seems the baby's crying. You should take care of the baby. And we're... Okay, are you okay, baby? Baby is okay. And the baby stopped crying, so that's enough, right? And she's like, no, I could just spin the windmill. Is that what it's called? Windmill? Uh, whatever. And then... I want that baseball because it, beca it could be used as a weapon. And now some choices on to what yeah, I can talk. Sir? All of this I'm sure is going to come back to haunt me. What's wrong? Oh, is the alarm sounding? Is it time to get running? Followed by yes, Maybe I can open my front door now. The explosions. man on the television is We're announcing the end of the world. I had better hustle to the vault. That's what I, I would think. I, I would think if I signed up for a vault and then on TV... Well, it's, do you trust the vault? Do you trust going into the vault? I, I, I don't know if I would. So... He's going... The door is open. Yeah. Alright. Um, so, can I get in this car? I'd rather just walk in the van. But nope. 
Okay, there's a chopper. I didn't even notice the chopper. My wife is running ahead of me. The soldier is saying, this way. We're running ahead. This is some um, crazy shot. Crazy should be good. I am a good person. And we're all here. And the guy who sold me the insurance in. isn't even the allowed to go inside the vault. Adult male. Adult female. Okay. So ahead. we're going up ahead. Good luck, man. Follow me. Please let me in the vault. Let me in the vault. Everything we can. Now keep moving. It's like running into a mouse trap. And we're up ahead Stop and a bright floor. shining future. And we have to stand in the center. Almost there. We're gonna be okay. Mm -hmm. I love what you. What do we do Both now? We love you too. Just, oh gee. Yeah, I'm pretty glad I signed up for this vault. Hold on! Here we are, now we're just transitioning into the vault world where we will see what's going to happen. It's just loading screen. I think you can hear some... There we go. Alright, so this isn't the most beautiful place to live, but it looks like you could Everyone get by. Let's go to no where we're to supposed to go. I'd like to see Never where my bedroom is. This way, A. Oh, okay, here we go. Yeah, this looks like it might not be that hospitable. Look at all those people. There are those scientists. That's good. Um, they have jumpsuits. Step over to the table. Okay, so what's going on here? This way, please. Just this way. Welcome. I have to yeah, talk to this person to get my own jumpsuit. Uh, thanks. Now I have what my now? own jumpsuit. Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow and me. the main lead scientist says this way. See? Yeah, he has a this pit boy. Oh, you're gonna love it. So we're this gonna walk is one around. Of the and Not completely without like questioning anything, we are going to follow this. We were very, very trusting. They talk about the sheep. We're very sheep-like, but sheep-like sheep is not always bad. I mean, I guess in this case, obviously being like a sheep saved my life once and now if I hey walk in into this ice door in this go in the capsule be a sheep and go in the capsule and it actually saves my life which is good and see my wife and child and capsule opposite of me and oh it's getting cold it's getting cold this feels like my actual room getting cold <laughs> i bet if there was a nuclear war my bedroom would freeze over and i uh become like walt disney or uh, who is i don't know who it is uh so we're unconscious and blocked off by centuries of sleep and we're just waiting here in our sleep room our frozen sleep room what is happening here oh oh I can kind of see something what's I, I can make something out what's happening is that my wife opposite me with my child who are those people? Who are those people who are taking 
an interest in my wife's pod. Oh, it's opening. Okay, well, she's okay. The baby's okay, it looks like. They're trying to take the baby. No, I know I wouldn't give the baby to them either. No, don't take the baby. Oh no, no. Oh no, 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 no. Uh, gee, this is so typical. Uh, this is bad news. There's gonna have to. Well, I saw his face. So, and then I go back to sleep. Why would they wake me up just to watch that happen to my baby and my wife? They said, I think, uh, at least uh, the, the adult will have a backup. <coughs> so here we are, waking up. Can we open the door? Ouch. Oh, he can barely walk. Uh, where's his wife? Looks like it's a new quest. I want to open the door. Okay, I want to save. Save game. Why is it not letting me save? Oh, it did let me Come save. Come on! has to be released! So we open up the pod bay door. Oh, she's dead and she's frozen. I'll find who did this. This is horrible. And I'll get Sean back. I promise. I, I think I got a wedding ring. I don't know what that's gonna... Give that I to someone, to ask them this. to marry you. That's some high pressure marriage stuff. So it looks like everyone's trapped in their little receptacles. Hello? The, their pods Anyone? won't open. None of the pods will open. Are they stuck in here or like? Oh man. This is not a good situation, but because I was like a sheep, I survived. I'm gonna have to maybe rethink my sheep attitude if I'm gonna live in a post apocalyptic wasteland. So, can we open that? No. What? Can we open that? No. Nothing we can do yet. Can we open the can we open the door with this? No, but we can open the door by by opening the door. Okay, so walking around. Here we are. What's in here? More popsicles. Can we open it? No. Can we open it? No. Can we open this? No. Uh, this does not look good. Okay, let's go this way. I don't even know which way I'm going. I'm just randomly walking around. Can we open that? No. Nope. Doesn't seem so. Dead. None of these we can open. Why'd they do this? Open. No. So let's go back out of this area. Go back here. No, that's where we came from. Let's go this way. Okay, here we are. Vault 111. Here we are. Okay, looking around. Can we open any of those? No. Open this. Hey, a baton! 
Okay, now we have a weapon. Now we're in business. We don't have to bare, bare knuckle box people. So where are we going here? Over here. Where the computer is. Now computers are usually, in Fallout 3, they're usually hard to hack. So I'm hesitant to try the computer because it might be a dead end. But I will try to turn on the computer. And it's pretty standard. Now I recommend you pause at the parts where it types out long messages and read the message. Pause and read the message every time. I read all of this. It's 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 kind of part it's I don't know if it's crucial to the plot, but like if you want to get immersive in the game you get have to get as immersive as possible. So pause and read all this. I mean if you want. Uh, and so but there's a lot of information and I can understand if you don't want to watch all of this. But uh so basically what it's saying is uh things are not people were told one thing and another thing happened. Okay, what's happening here? <coughs> Excuse me, I've been talking all day. Okay. No. Read about this, pause and read it when it's done. And there's another bit of information which I, I myself am reading. More information. So these are the procedures I can read from this tiny thing. Now these are, whenever there's a whole bunch of logs <laughs> left over by the previous uh, residents, it's pretty safe to say most of them are dead, or aged, or like morphed into a hippo. So, just reading all of this. It goes at a good speed that you can keep up with it, or at least I can. And then just, I choose when to go to the next one. So here we are. What's happening here? I actually in real life need to pee right now and uh, so sorry to tell you that I, if you, that grosses you out that should not gross you out but there's one minute left and to read all the chat logs there we go And the last one. So pause and read this, and this is where we're going to leave off for today. That's all we know so far. That's as far as we have gone in Fallout. These 25 seconds left. So that's pretty much everything and anything in the locker no anything in the desks no nothing in the desks 